There's one with a pointy end on it. I'll take that. Yippers. I'll take it. Keep on looking. I've got plenty of broken ones in my pockets already. This is a place where I find just all kinds of blunts. I've got probably a dozen, or a half a dozen, rather, right now. That one's got a tip. Pretty nice tip. I'm pretty sure that's a stemmed point. I'm watching that thing right there. Hey, we got a tip. Oh, that's a pretty nice little point. Pretty decent material. If it was a little bit thinner, it'd be apt to be translucent. It's pretty thick. But I like the shape of it. We'll keep on looking. I've got that I'm looking at. I'm about four foot. I don't know where is that spider. I got it made about two steps and look to my left and there's that. Just hanging in there. Hey, look at that. We will definitely take that. Yuppers, I like it. Sorry, I got out of frame. I'm out of practice. I hadn't. A, these are the first points I've found all year. Actually, it's the first time I've been in the field all year. Hadn't had any ground to look at. Things have changed here, and y'all know it. There's no secret. You watch my channel. I, I been lucky to find a place to, to look in the last at least three years but uh, I'll take what I can get I've been metal detecting a whole lot and I've been finding some really good stuff metal detecting of course my channel is not primarily metal detecting but I may make a video and show some of the things I've been finding uh, and asked a few people that maybe watch my channel that might know more about relics than I do especially Civil War relics uh, I got on a Civil War camp and uh, found two silvers, one uh, 1843-0 Liberty seated dime, and then I found, uh, it's a cut real, which is unusual to find, and I feel like in my part of the country, but nevertheless, I found it, it's a cut real, and, and I got the face of uh, Carlos, which his face is uh, like a 1759 to 1788 Carlos III. Don't have the date, but I do have the face, and that's enough to let me know the frame in which it was minted. But anyway, also, if you know, if you had enough of the coin, you could find out which country it was minted in. I think there's six. It could be either one of the six. But anyway, I might show that and let you help me identify a few things that I'm not aware of. But I like that. Maybe I'll find another four foot on up. Later. Now, what do you think? Hmm, get around. Could be, could not be. Let's see about this. Keep where the sun shining. Hey. Cool point. The material on that, that's a, that's a good looking piece. Get around. Get. Yeah, that's a good looking, good looking artifact for the area. It's got serrations on it. I'm trying to look at it. He used to. Alright. Doing alright. I think that's four with tips. And I've got about probably a dozen without tips, but they're blunted. Good deal. Keep on looking. Another one. 
Looks like it's got a base and a tip. It does look a little rough, but we'll take it. Yeah, it's a little rough. A little curvy. But I like curvy. A little knifey looking. Well, it look pretty. It look pretty cleaned up. I ain't went no pace, y'all. Right there, right over there's the edge of the field. I'm, I'm just up and down through here. I don't know, this is, I think, number five that I've got with a tip on it. And I've got a pocket full of broke. Keep looking. Got a lot to look. Fine looking blade right there, I'm looking at. Probably one of the better specimens. I don't think it's broke on the back end. Looks pretty flat. Yeah. That's one of the better preform blades I ever found on this side. Probably the best. Well, there's no doubt it's the best. Three and a quarter inches long, I think. I think my, no, maybe three and three quarters. My hands, I think, about three and a half. It's a good looking piece, though. Take up with that. Any given site, you look for those pieces that <laughs> kind of looks like they out of place. This one, compared to everything I found on this site, looks like it's out of place. But many of them may have started out like this that I find here that's been used up. That's a pretty piece. Tickled to find that. I still got tons to look. You can see that's the edge of the wood line. I don't know, it's probably I'd say it's probably two, two hundred and fifty foot away. And I'm right about smack dab in the middle of it. I got about that much further to go over that way before this part's finished. And then I got a hump right up there that's got occupation, and I got a hump right over there that's got a good occupation. So I've I made plans to be off today about half a day and it's worked in my favor so far. Keep on looking, it's got a, got a white stripe in it that I can see, I don't know if you can or not. Alright, good looking blade. Well, what do you think? Pretty good sized piece. Let's hope for a tip. Hey. Check it out. Good looking piece. Alright. Man, what a day I'm having. Let's see what else we can find. Check this table full of blunts out. All except this bottom row and the top row. Everything in between is blunts. 29 of them. Some of them are just crazy cool. I figured it out. There are no doubt for them to be a part of this tribe. The policy was that you had to know how to make a blunt. Don't know that you had to know how to use them, but you definitely had to know how to make them. They made some cool ones. And they made a bunch of them. That's cool. Yep, there's a bunch of them. Had a good day. Just an awesome time. It's got some unique colors in it. Anyway, these are complete for the most part. Just not, you know, just 
stellar or nothing. These are some tools that they're working on. Looks like a creek rock. I just started working on it. Scrapers. This is a really nice hammerstone right here. It's a big piece of quartz. And they've made slick spots on it. Well, those are natural one, that, but it looks like it's been ground. Really slick in a couple of places, like they've nearly used it for grinding and then different things. It may be more like a grinding stone than it is a hammer stone, but they could have used it for either or, and they probably did. Anyway, I like that. It's heavy. It's probably two pounds or better. Yeah, I had an awesome time. It's got some nice bands in it. It's not the perfect arrowhead or nothing. But I'm glad to find them. This site doesn't produce just a great deal of high quality stone for one. If you don't have high quality stone, you don't have high quality arrowheads for the most part. But they've done the best that they could do with what they had to work with. I'm glad to find them. This is a piece of Harrodsburg turret. That is possibly the best material that they had on the site. And it's not optimal in every sense of the word, but it is probably better than a lot of materials that you see there with exception of this type which is a, a hornstone type very nice piece right there I like it and this blade right here it's a it's a Harrodsburg turret too uh, different color got a lot of blue in it or tan and blue Uh, shouldn't I should have determined beforehand before I turned the video camera on as to whether this I think is a blade or a preform. I believe it's going to be a blade because I see some secondary edge work on it. That's usually what makes my mind about whether it's a blade or a preform is if I can see edge work that demonstrates a use as a blade. Compared to just a reduction plate, you know, when they're making preforms. But anyway, nice, nice place. Peace. Sorry. Can't speak. It's getting late. But I had an awesome time, and that's just after it's been turned. It's still yet to be worked down and planted and rained on again. and See what we can yield after that. But we've had a real haul. This is an unusual time. You see a... This thing right here, I filled it nearly full with broken things that I didn't bring in to clean up. And I moved them and dumped them in a bucket, and then I went back to fill it back up. And this this right here filled that thing back up that I brought in. It's unusual that you clean up half as much as what you uh, put in a five-gallon bucket, but I did. And a lot of fines today. But, uh... Anyway, I hope y'all had a big time hunting. I haven't been able to watch too many videos here lately, but what few I have watched, glad to see you finding things. And I'm uh, going to retire one of my old faithful shirts. Uh, my wife got to make a fun of it because it's unraveling around the collar and around the sleeves and around the hem on the bottom. And it was one that I didn't tell how many arrowheads I found with it, so I. I'm going to give it a proper memorial. So anyway. Later.